What the H is going on guys? Welcome back to your 36th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about terrain and I apologize if my voice is a tidbit groggy but it's 822 and I just woke up about mm, I don't know I want to say 8 o'clock so 22 minutes ago what the heck? Hmm, did you know that? That when you hover over this thing it shows your desktop? Hmm, interesting. Click it. Ooh, cool. Anyways, that uh distracted me for a little bit but welcome to your 36th tutorial and like I said we're gonna be going over terrain now if you don't know what terrain is terrain is pretty much like the earth whenever you create outdoor levels or huge maps like World of Warcraft and Zelda this is the tool that you're gonna be using to do that create mountains valleys canyons even just big old fields so let's go ahead and jump into that right now so you know like I said, I think it's time to start creating terrain because our little buildings and our rooms, I mean, those are nice and all, but for huge epic games, we're going to need a lot more land. So in order to create terrain, here's what you need to do. First of all, go up to Tools and click New Terrain. So go ahead and click that and it's going to give you a couple options. First of all, just always position it at the default unless you have like another map you want to work around. And the patches is just think of it like the size for now just go ahead and put 64 by 64 and go ahead and click next and then layer setup we're just gonna keep it at the default that's what we're gonna be doing most of the time so click finish and it gives you this huge wonkin tonkin big old square now this is your terrain right here and in these tutorials we're gonna be working exclusively in the perspective view so go ahead and maximize that zoom out and bam look at our terrain there it is so that's it that's all you need to know on terrain now we can move on to the next topic I'm just kidding there's actually a lot to cover on terrain so you don't get away that easy so before we start making mountains and canyons and you know putting cool trees and grass on our terrain the first thing I'm gonna do is add a light because whenever we're carving out this terrain right now we're in unlit mode and whenever we start carving things away it's going to be really weird if our terrain doesn't have any shadows so let's go ahead and add some shadows by adding a light and to add a light I'm going to go view browser windows actor classes and I'm going to go ahead and add a directional light and remember a directional light is kind of like the sun I said in my last tutorial so go ahead and right click that I mean excuse me left click it just select it and then right click in the middle and put add directional light here now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this light way up right about there and the first thing I'm gonna do before I even do anything else is select my light see it's so small right here and press F4 and I'm gonna go ahead and drop down display and bump this up to 4 right there since we're gonna be working with a huge map we want our icon a little bigger so first of all we don't lose it and second of all whenever we want to change it we can just select it a little bit easier so go ahead and select this again and we're going to want to go ahead and select a rotate and rotate it along either the y or the x axis and the reason we're rotating this just go ahead and move it like 15 degrees or something 15 to 20 degrees the reason we're doing this is because whenever we're making our uh, level whether it's mountains or canyons or anything we want to give the sun a little bit of an angle because remember whenever you're outside fishing or whatever if the sun's directly above you you have no shadows and what's the point of having a sun if we can't have shadows so give it a tidbit of an angle we can actually rotate it in two directions if we want and with that being said our sun is good to go that's all we're doing with the sun so now let's go ahead and zoom back out and actually I want to bump this up a bit let me give you guys a real good angle to work with oh yeah right there there we go and now let's go ahead and start making some sweet terrain so make sure you're in unlit mode or excuse me lit mode which we are and go ahead and hop over to terrain editing mode it's right under camera mode and now as soon as you click it you get this window that pops up with a bunch of weird buttons and you know whatever the heck these things are and this crap over here and we're actually going to be covering everything what all these tools and checkboxes are but for now I'm just going to tell you guys how to build a really simple terrain so in this 
uh, tutorial I just want to give you guys a real quick dirty tutorial on how to build a real basic terrain and in the upcoming tutorials I'm going to be showing you guys all the little details about it so anyways to build a very basic terrain you're going to be using this one tool right here it's paint and right now we're going to be working on the height map now right down here is a bunch of different layers you can have for your terrain the first layer that you always have is your height map and what a height map is is it's a grayscale map a black and white map just like a shadow map or a light map or when we were working with maps with materials this is another kind of map wherever there's white it's going to be raised like a mountain wherever it's black it's going to be indented like a camera so those that's basically where we're going to be painting on right now black and white even though we aren't going to see black and white we're going to see mountains and canyons that's what a height map is so you can also make height maps in like photoshop or any paint program and stuff like that but we're just going to be doing it in uh, the UDK for now so go ahead and have your height map selected and go ahead and check paint right here now right here is your brush settings the strength of your brush is if you think of it in real world how hard you're pressing down on your brush the radius I probably don't even need to explain these things but it's basically how wide your brush is so just go ahead and leave these somewhere in the middle and the fall off is the gradient from the middle being pressed down the hardest to it fading off on the edges so it's kind of like fanning out if you have a big fall off so go ahead and leave it at somewhere like that for now and you can go ahead and begin painting so you're probably thinking alright just go ahead and left click and paint but nothing's really going on and that's because a left click remember is the move to camera the camera around so in order to paint hold down control on your keyboard and with control held down you can go ahead and check it out Ooh yeah look at that so as you can see if I hold it in one place that might be a little easier to see that we're getting a nice little ridge and so that's basically how you paint hold down control on your keyboard and left click with the mouse so maybe if I do this edge it'll be a little bit easier to see pretty cool huh and a nice little tidbit of information if you hold down control on your keyboard and right click with your mouse what it's going to do is indent the map just like this but you're saying alright Bucky that's nice and all but first of all what kind of terrain looks like a big old checkerboard this terrain is kind of hard to tell what we're working with you know this gray and purple blocks so what we need is some nice material some nice grassy ground covering and that way we can really easily see what we're working with so I'm actually going to be adding some nice grass and probably some nice I don't know rocky or pathways in the next tutorial but I guess you're gonna to have to watch that one to uh, you know see what's going on then so for now that's the basics of how you paint and how you create a terrain and also don't forget to add your sun because it looks better in lit mode than unlit mode as you can see lit has shadows unlit th does not so in the next tutorial we're gonna be adding some grass but for now that's all you guys get so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then